Hi guys, this is me, Alex, and today we're going to be reading a little bit of Rally Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Spooky Stories by Jeff Kinney. Now this book came out on March 16th of 2021, so let's read the first scary story. Reader beware. Boo! Did that scare you? If it did, maybe you should put this book down and pick something else that's a little less scary. The there are some good books about unicorns and puppies and other happy things that you can read until you're ready for a book like this. But if, but if you like stories about skeletons and zombies and human heads, then crawl under the covers and turn the page. And if you get too scared, then you can always sleep in your parents' bed. But please don't tell them the reason you got spooked, because I really don't want them to be mad at me. I warned you. The Changing. There was once a boy named Rowan, and Rowan was a happy child. He had two parents who loved him very much, and he had lots of toys to play with. Sometime, sometimes Rowan would bring his toys to school and play with them at recess, but he stopped doing that after he got bullied by some jerks. Grow up, you baby. Kick. That made Rowan sad because he thought playing with it. That made Rowan sad because he thought playing with, with toys was the best thing about being a kid. But Rowan's classmates didn't feel the same way. And, th and they were always trying to act older than they really were. One day when Rowan was in class, he felt a strange tickling sensation under his armpit. He didn't know what it was, so he asked his teacher, Mrs. Pennington, if he could please be excused to use the restroom. When Rowan got to the bathroom, he took off his shirt and was shocked to see a single hair growing from the center of his armpit. Rowan, Rowan didn't know what to do, so he put his shirt back on and returned to class. And when he sat down, he felt like everyone in the classroom could tell something was different about him. Even Mrs. Pen even Mrs. Pennington. When the, when the final bell rang, R Rowan ran all the way home. He knew his mother kept some toys in the bathroom and he couldn't wait to use them to pull out that hair. But when Rowan took off his shirt, but when Rowan took his shirt off, he could see it was too late for tweezers. Suddenly hair started sprouting all over Rowan's body and before, and before long, he was practically covered in it. Sprung, bowing, sprung. But Rowan was totally panicking. He went through his parents' bathroom cabinet to see if there was anything that might help. He found something he thought would do the trick. But there's a reason kids shouldn't go poking around in their parents' bathroom cabinets. Because two seconds after Rowan opened the bottle, he passed out from the fumes. Faint. When Rowan woke up, he was in his bed. At first, he thought maybe the, the the whole thing with the hair was just a bad dream, but one but one look at his arm told him it wasn't. Groan. Ro Rowan's parents walked into his room, and he was afraid they were gonna be mad at him for opening that bottle of hair remover without him asking. But but they didn't look mad at all. In fact, they seemed kind of happy. Rowan's parents said they've been waiting for this day for years, and it was time for them to have the talk. Rowan thought they had already had the talk when his parents told him how how babies were made, but they said this one was a totally different talk. His parents said that sometimes when a child turns a certain age, their body starts going through a changing, and, and that made Rowan sad because he liked himself just the way he was. But by now, Rowan thought he knew where this was heading, so he asked the question that had been on his mind all day. Am I becoming a man? Okay, and this is where we're going to leave off on Chapter 1. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time where we pick off at the rest of it. This is Part 1. Bye!